بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يحده الله فلا مضل له ويد الفرحاد له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أحسن الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وإن شر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار. Uh, today's lesson in Shalash is going to be a short lesson and it's from one of the chapters uh, towards the end of uh, the book, the end of Kitab al Tawheed, and this is chapter number 65. Uh, and Shaykh Al Islam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab uh, has, has entitled this chapter Babun La Yustashfa'u Billahi. Uh, translation of which is the chapter um, Allah is not to be uh, intercession is not to be sought by way of Allah upon anyone from his creation Allah is not to be sought as an interceder upon anyone from his creation meaning that we don't make Allah as one who does the act of intercession on our behalf upon anyone else from the creation. This is the meaning of the, of the chapter heading. And uh, the Sheikh, Sheikh Salim Fawzan, he gives just a, a brief commentary upon this chapter heading and what relates to it. So he says, first of all, al istishfa al istishfa uh, that which is mentioned in, 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 the t- in, the, in the chapter heading. This means to seek intercession. Istishfa, istashfa, al istishfa. This means to seek the intercession. Seek intercession from someone. And as shafa'a, as shafa'a refers to the act of, ac- the, 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 the action of uh, playing like an intermediate role between um, between a person who has a need and between the one who can fulfill that need. Right? This is the meaning of shafa. It, it refers to the action, the action of a person in mediating between the one who has a need and the one who is able to fulfill that need. This is the meaning of shafa. And al istishfa is the action of seeking shafa'a, seeking someone's mediation. This is al istishfa. And the Shaykh says that the ruling upon al istishfa, the ruling upon it, is in accordance with the thing that is being sought. The thing that is being sought. If the thing that is being sought is goodness, then intercession regarding it is goodness. And it contains a reward. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in an ayah, مَنْ يَشْفَعْ شَفَاعَةً حَسَنَةً يَكُنْ لَهُ نَصِيبٌ مِّنْهَا That whoever made an intercession that was good, then he will have a portion thereof, meaning a portion of the goodness thereof. And likewise, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِشْفَعُوا uh, تُؤْجَرُوا That intercede and you will be granted reward. And as for when the, the, the shifa'a, the, the mediation, uh, is regarding an issue which is haram, then of course the, the ruling upon it is that it is haram. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَنْ يَشْفَعْ شَفَاعَةً سَيِّئَةً يَكُنْ لَهُ كِفْلٌ مِّنْهَا Again, anyone um, who makes an intercession that is evil, then again he will have a burden thereof. He will have a, a share of the blame and the sin thereof. Like, for example, the Sheikh illustrates, like, for example, a person who mediates um, uh, on behalf of someone who has fallen into uh, either a zina, adultery, fornication, or who was stolen, or who was uh, consumed alcohol or something, and then he wants to mediate in order that the punishment, the prescribed punishment upon such people is dropped. Right? Now this, this you know, so, he, so he wants to nullify and to drop this 
uh, a prescribed punishment. So he goes to the he goes to the judge, and you know he wants to, he he goes to the judge on behalf of the one who's guilty, and he he tries to intercede and mediate. And he want, and he wants him to uh, abandon establishing this prescribed punishment upon that person after it's been affirmed and established that the person obviously did fall into that particular crime. So here, this this type of mediation, this type of intercession is haram, is haram. Uh, as a, and the Messenger وسلم, said in the hadith uh, uh, that uh, with respect to the hudud which are between you then pardon each other but as for that which reaches me of any prescribed punishment then that becomes obligatory and then in another hadith the Messenger said that when a prescribed punishment reaches the, the ruler meaning that when an issue reaches the ruler or, you know, when when there's an issue in which the prescribed punishments are applicable, and that then becomes the knowledge of the ruler, then may Allah curse the one who intercedes and the one who is interceded for. Meaning, the one who comes to the ruler and tries to mediate and to try to have the ruler drop the punishment, so he is cursed because he is the mediator, he is the shafi, the interceder. And likewise, the one who is interceded for, he too is cursed. Right? The one who obviously is seeking this uh, r- r- removal. Um, so, this is as it relates, the Sheikh says, to the shifa'a that takes place amongst the creation. So, so far, we've been discussing the mediation or the intercession that takes place between people. Now, as for when a person seeks to make Allah as an interceder with someone from the creation which is the subject of this chapter then this is a great evil it's a great evil because in essence when a person is seeking Allah as an interceder he is making Allah inferior he's making Allah inferior to the one to the to the one who is being interceded with right? in essence the one who is being interceded with is in essence great according to this would be greater than in, in the view of such a person than the one who is doing the interceding right? this is what it means so when, first, when a person for example he seeks the intercession so he wants Allah to intercede on his behalf with someone from the creation then that means that this created being Who's being interceded? Uh, who's being interceded with? Then he is greater than Allah, and of course, this is no doubt ascribing a deficiency to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and it's something that is damaging to a person's tawhid. And then, in this regard, Sheikh Islam Muhammad bin Abdul Haab brings a narration, brings a hadith uh, from Jabir bin Mut'am radhiyallahu anhu, who said that uh, a Bedouin came to the Prophet والسلام, and he said O Messenger of Allah the people have perished and the children are hungry and the wealth and the possessions have, uh, have, have perished so seek rain on our behalf from your Lord ask your Lord for rain for verily we intercede we, 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 we ask Allah we seek Allah's in- intercession from you. We seek Allah's intercession from you. Meaning we, we, we ask Allah to intercede with you. And we seek your intercession with Allah. Right? So that so this Bedouin Arab he said it both ways that we seek Allah to in- intercede with you on our behalf and we seek you to intercede with Allah on our behalf. Both ways. So then the Messenger the Prophet والسلام, he said, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, how free is Allah from all imperfections and deficiencies. And then he continued glorifying and praising Allah in this manner up until it could be seen, uh, up until the effects of that could be seen on the faces of the Sahaba. Meaning, they could see that he disliked it, and, and you could see on the faces of the Sahaba their perception that he, that, you know, he, he, he didn't like it. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Woe be to you, 
Do you not know who is Allah? 